Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint Germain family. As you see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be discussing the recent situation regarding Kylian Mbappé and the alleged rape accusations because a lot of information has been dropping recently. So, yeah, we'll take a look at all of it. Obviously, the first main one which I looked at before, just in rape investigation after Mbappé's visit, according to Aftonbladet, a Swedish newspaper. Obviously, Mbappé, during this international break, he went to Sweden during the international break when he was supposed to have his mini preseason, when they're partied, and now they're coming some rape allegations. Moving on from that, we have a report here from the Parisian and Expressen. The police moved today to the hotel where Mbappe was staying. Testimonies were collected, impossible material, evidence, analysis of video surveillance, images, impossible DNA samples, and slip reason while repeating Expressen. We got some more news here from both the Parisian and Expressen. Once again, breaking, uh, which reportedly fighting in Sweden against Kylian Mbappe. So a report has been brought against Kylian Mbappé in Sweden. The event allegedly took place during the night from Thursday to Friday in Stockholm. The alleged victim reportedly went to a hospital on a Friday to have a possible physical injury reported. She was reportedly interviewed by a police service on Saturday. The woman allegedly named Mbappé as her attacker. This is the main information that I just dropped. She named Kylian Mbappé. So Mbappé wasn't just... A supposed target because he was at the hotel at the same time no this girl has said that this is mbappe did it does this mean mbappe did it absolutely no we've seen countless of women should i call them horse fake these kinds of stuff to get money to get pressure to maybe they hate someone they want to get pressure on him but this is actually serious now for killing mbappe because this is a serious allegation Mbappe would today be reasonably suspected, the lowest level of suspicion in Swedish criminal law. And me being Swedish, I will tell you, when it comes to the Swedish system, it's not good at all. It's weak. It's not strong. So I don't really know what the Swedish government will do with this. But we have information now that the woman has called Mbappe. An investigation has been opened, testimonies, analysis of video surveillance images, and possible DNA samples. The events allegedly took place during the night of Thursday, October 10 to Friday, October 11th in a hotel in Stockholm. The alleged victim first went to a hospital in Swedish capital on Friday to have any physical injuries, possible physical repercussions following the rape she allegedly suffered reported. Following the first step, she was reportedly interviewed the following day, day Saturday, October 12th, by a police department with whom she filled a complaint against the captain of the Blues, Kylian Mbappé, according to Swedish media. A woman has filed a complaint against Kylian Mbappé for rape and sexual accord, uh, according to Swedish media. Swedish police confirmed tonight that Kylian Mbappé is indeed under investigation for rape and sexual harassment. So, going by all the reports we have seen, uh, Kylian Mbappé has been named and Kylian Mbappé now is under investigation. Uh, obviously, no evidence has dropped. They looked at DNA evidence, all of that. Nothing of that has dropped, but... The woman that was allegedly accused of this has name dropped Kylian Mbappe as, I don't know, the attacker or one of the attackers. Because a lot of time in situations like this is more than just one person. Uh, hopefully we get answers on this so quickly as possible. If video surveillance, all of this is accessible, we should get an answer on this uh, immediately. Um, if there is any truth to this, Kylian Mbappe's career is over. Kylian Mbappe's career is completely over. Because this is not similar to the Ronaldo situation. This is much worse. And it's come out at a time where social media is 100 times bigger than it was when the situation happened to Cristiano Ronaldo. So, yeah, it's, it's a very weird, it's a very disgusting situation. I mean, I, I wish that this did not happen, but now that it has happened. And if Mbappe is here, hopefully he gets uh, the punishment needed. And this is karma for Mbappe just being a disgusting, filthy rat as he always is. One thing I have to add on is Roma Molina has been talking. Roma Molina, for the people that don't know, is an insider, French insider journalist that goes into the deep unknown stuff when it comes to the footballing world, especially PSG, Ligue 1 and so on. But he has some information that he's gone in on Real Madrid recently. He said the reunion decrease of Real Madrid, saying that there's a crisis at Madrid and so on. And then he dropped this, which is gigantic news. The abortion file will be soon, I imagine. This is reportedly because of Kylian Mbappé. There is a report, uh, like Molina hasn't still dropped the stuff and so on, but this is an explanation of why he's been happening. Molina didn't say officially, but apparently Mbappé got a girl pregnant and pressured her and gave her money to abort the baby. He wasn't succeeding in doing it, and apparently Bob Nasser, right-hand man, basically second in command and controls all the players and his entourage and provide security, help them settle in, etc. Helped Kylian Mbappé and made the girl abort. This is gigantic news. This obviously has nothing to do with the recent news, 
about Molina. He just knows Mbappe's image at the moment is not looking good. So let me bring up this new information. We don't know if this is true. Uh, Roma Molina still hasn't talked about it, just some small tweets. So we'll have to wait for that. But Mbappe's career might be over at the age of 25. Wow. That's been it from your boy Piergent. Hopefully, guys, have enjoyed this informational video. And as usual, bye bye.